Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Andrea Ali. I'm a professional makeup artist based in Paris. And in today's video, I'm going to create the look that I'm wearing right now that I decided to call it Fresh Like a Daisy because this screams freshness. And let me tell you something, I am anything but fresh right now. As you can see, my, my voice is, is failing me. Um, I'm a mom of seven months old, almost seven months old baby. So, you know, that's, that's hard. You know, if you're a mom, I don't have to explain this to you. Um, however, this makeup look definitely gives me that boost that je ne sais quoi. Oh, I hate when people use that. No, you know what? It just gives me freshness. It makes me look joyful. It makes me look, yeah younger a little bit why not so make sure you get all the way to the end to get all the tips and tricks and follow me along now let's get into it pure canvas primer this is the perfecting version from Laura Mercier and honestly if you are trying to make your foundation last longer try to use a primer not to prime is a crime I said this at the beginning of time I still believe in this. I mean, I have applied all my skincare products, so I could have moved on with whatever complexion product I wanted to use. However, when you're using this type of primer, I promise you the longevity of whatever you're using, either foundation or tinted moisturizer, is going to be longer. Okay, fresh like a daisy. Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. This is oil-free. Strongly recommend if you're looking for something that would be very, very lightweight, something that dries but still stays very luminous. Now, the only thing about this product is that is it oxidizes. Actually, let me apply it on the face so you can see. This color I'm using right now is 3 Neutral 1 Sand. Okay? quite dark okay if you let it sit a little bit let me spread it I have self tan uh, on right now so I could make this work however it oxidizes so it gets even a little bit darker than this in a minute so I I'm thinking that it would be better to use number two this is number two Mm, definitely a lot lighter different the difference between two and three it's like crazy I normally apply three to be completely honest with you because I like a, a slightly darker complexion you see this already went like very very dark so I'll take this off this is the type of product that you want to apply with your fingers because it's very lightweight it does not have a lot of pigment so if you're going to apply this with a brush or with a sponge the sponge will kind of absorb all the moisture and just defeats the purpose of applying the tinted moisturizer because that's what you want you want that moisture with a bit of a tint definitely go one shade lighter for this because it oxidizes a lot Spread it well around the hairline, the ears, and then down the neck. I'm only going to take this brush to make sure that everything is nicely blended and also to take the excess off, <laughs> if there is any. Honestly, it looks like I have nothing on the skin. This is the type of product, if you absolutely hate foundations, if you hate uh, how it just sits on your face, try this i promise you it will just melt in your skin move with your skin it looks like nothing however improves the way your skin looks definitely 100 percent. now let's apply concealer i don't know if you saw my previous video the one about mistakes that makes you look older i was trying to make this concealer because one of the mistakes that i was talking about was too much concealer 
and I was trying to make this concealer crease on me and it did not. I had to apply like two layers, thick layers, in order for this to crease. Probably it's the best concealer, at, at least for me, because it will just not crease. I'm, I'm so incredibly impressed. Huda Beauty Fall Filter. My color is Nuga. Okay, a little bit here. There is a reason why I'm applying this color. It's because I also want it to brighten. It's the type of product that I would use to cover and also to brighten. Because if you have very dark circles, sometimes you need to first conceal and then brighten with another product. But my dark circles are not as bad. So I can get away with using just one product. And I typically like to brighten under the eyes. This is what gives you that, you know, awake, that fresh feeling. At the end of my eye where, I don't know if you can see, maybe you don't, but I, I'm sometimes a little bit red. And I usually take a little bit of the concealer and apply it around my nose. I on purpose let this sit then I'm going to spread it with a beauty sponge. Nice, damp beauty sponge. Using a beauty blender especially because it's one of the best sponges to use for makeup, it's literally mistake proof. It creates that flawless application. So if you haven't invested yet in a beauty sponge, definitely recommend you to. Okay. Forehead looks a bit dark, so I will apply a touch of concealer to brighten my forehead. Hmm, what a difference concealer makes, right? Next, I'm going to use this Girlactic. This is called Cheeky Tint and Glow. The color is L'Amour. Now, I have a little story to tell you about Girlactic. In my bridal makeup video, I was using a product that I really, really love. It's this absolutely gorgeous, creamy, glittery, eyeshadow that stays on all day long that I always apply when I have to do someone's makeup and it has to stay for many many hours. So I featured that product in the video and then obviously a lot of you loved it and you bought it. And Girlactic, you know, although it's on the market for quite a long time, they have received this bigger amount of orders than usual and they were wondering like, okay, who used our product? Someone must have used this product featured in a video. Like, we would love to know. So <clears throat> the owner actually emailed one of the customers and they were asking her like, where did, you, where did you see this product? And she was kind enough and replied and said, you know, there is this makeup artist in Paris that used your product and I saw it in this video and I really loved it and you should totally like, get in touch with each other or something like that. The owner of Girlactic, her name is Gallet, she comes in Paris with her whole family. She contacts me and she's like, hey, you know, <clears throat> just wanted to tell you that I'm in Paris. I know that you were using uh, one of our products uh, recently and I wanted to connect with you. And I was like, yeah, sure. I love to meet uh, brand owners and not only. Um, and we met in a cafe, just a random cafe. I hate to take uh, people in like famous places. It just makes everyone feels uncomfortable. And we went to this random cafe and we talked and literally we talked about everything. Family, husbands, gossiping, <laughs> everything. And we had such a connection and I loved her so much. <clears throat> and she told me how she how she got started with her company and then she was like she had this idea it's like how about we send an email to this person who basically connected us 
And I was like, yeah, that's perfect. And we did. And then we sent her a picture as well. And I was thinking, <clears throat> sorry, my, I'm losing my voice. And we were thinking how ama amazing social media is from certain point of view where, you know, it connects people that you would never even think of. And I personally have friendship with people that I never in a million th years thought I would be very close friends with, like Lee from Cinco, that we completely randomly met over the internet, and now with Gallet from Girlactic. And when she came, she, she brought a bunch of products. She was so, so kind. And one of them is this product. Okay, I, I know, I, I talk a lot, but I, I thought that you should know about this story because one of you connected me with a wonderful human being and I just wanted to thank you if you're watching this video and thank you to all of you who are placing orders especially to smaller brands or brands that you know maybe they're on the market for a long time but they're not as hyped as they used to be I'm gonna take this color with the beauty sponge this beauty sponge is from Refi. I'll take the excess off. I know that it looks very intimidating, this color, but it's the nicest, beautiful pop of pink. High on the cheeks, and then what I like to do with pink, especially pink products, is take them on the bra bone. And I love that it's creamy. For a fresh look, you definitely want to use creamy products. Then I'm going to take this cream bronzer from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is in the color Amber. When I don't have self-tan, I use warm tan. It's beautiful, very subtle, great for light or fair skin tone. Amber is more for light, medium, medium skin tones. It has a little bit of olive tone to it this amber and i didn't realize this until recently i did a comparison of all cream bronzers that i have in my kit on my stories on instagram you guys said that it's just so useful this is a brush 19 from refer i apply this wherever the sun would typically hit the face if I were to stay in the sun. So it's usually here, here, the nose. Because I'm wearing this white dress, I don't want to apply anything in here. I don't want to stain my dress. But if it wasn't white, I would have applied a little bit in here. I'm going to use number 18 brush from Refer to set my concealer in place with powder. This one is Prism Libre from Givenchy, number three, rose. Wait, 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 did it crease? It didn't, but I always like to. Can you get closer, please? I absolutely love this powder. Let's apply on the forehead because my hair is so tight. It looks very, very shiny. It's not necessarily from the product, honestly, it's because my skin is just so tight. I don't know if I ever show you, but I always powder the nose. Even if, you know, I might not show all the time, I always powder my nose. I hate when it's too greasy. I see a little. Yeah, this is better. It wasn't well blended. Love. Look how it just blurs everything. And then, of course, chin. And here's my trick. Milk. I use this Milk Hydro Grip Set and Refresh Spray. have to shake it. Spray all over the face. I take a clean part of the beauty sponge. 
I go over it. And then I will apply another layer of powder. I know that it might look like too much. Trust me, it isn't. Just follow these steps. This helps the base, your complexion, to last all day long. You're securing it and you still have the skin-like finish. Now I'll take the other side with a, with a sponge and this is a beautiful, I don't know if you can see, it's a very very nice glowy pink. I get this on the highest point of the cheeks for extra glow. Oh, how gorgeous this looks. You guys, it's so beautiful. I'll do a touch of this Anastasia. Wow, I'm, I have completely finished. There's only t a tiny little bit on the end. I don't know if you guys can see. Okay, I guess I really liked it. Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Freeze. When you lift your eyebrows like this, the whole eye, look at this, the whole eye looks more open. You have more space. I love this type of product. And then I'm going to perfect the eyebrows with this brow flick. This one is from Glossier. And I just love the very natural feeling that my eyebrows have after the combination between a, a clear brow gel and this product. And in the past I used to first apply this and then the clear brow gel or brow freeze. But now I definitely love to first make sure that my eyebrows are exactly in the place where I want them to be and then come with this type of product. If you're using <clears throat> Brow Freeze from Anastasia, nothing will work like pencil-wise. Even powder wouldn't work as well as a brow pen. This or the one from Anastasia, I tend to like the Glossier one more. Now, I don't know, I don't think I've used this palette on my channel like full look with this palette i bought this from galerie lafayette i saw it i'm like oh my god it screams pretty it screams fresh it screams joy these products these colors sorry i think i need to put it more like this because if i get too close to the light it takes away from the colors how gorgeous you know what let me swatch them let me just swatch them i have to so this is the matte, the only, yeah, it's the only matte one in the palette. And then the golden. Oh, it glides like. This is the type of eyeshadow that it feels wet. And then let me take the pink. Let me put it here. I think you guys can see better. Oh! Gorgeous! With the other side of my IT Cosmetics brush, I'll take just a pinch of concealer and apply it as a base on my, on my eyelids. I don't typically do this, but today I feel like these shadows need to pop. And I'll get the only matte color in the palette. And I will get this color closer to the inner corner of my eye. Today, I'm not going to apply anything at the outer corner because I think that when you leave this space completely open, it opens up the eyes as well. The same product, apply it on the lower lashes.
Then I'm going to take this beautiful pink. God, it's so precious, this pink. Absolutely love it. And apply it all over the eyelid. This is a reference 02 brush and it's just the perfect brush to apply your eyeshadow on the mobile lid. Because you are not losing that beautiful finish with this brush. Refer 26, I'll take this color and get it very very close to the lashes. This gives just a beautiful, sort of sparkly, bronzy moment and adds light to your eyes. Then I'm going to take this brown pencil. This one is from Linda Hilberg, Hilberg and it's called Brown Core. This is the type of pencil that it will just not move, you guys. So I tight line with this. If you apply even a thin layer of product at the base of your lashes, it will take away this space, it will close your eyes. Try this trick where you apply the product on the waterline. It has to be something super long lasting. Le volume de Chanel, my mascara for today. And having the very light mobile lid, it emphasizes the lashes even more. I don't know if you can see. Mm. Gorge. You know me and my lip liners, I always love to apply a lip liner. Today makes no exception. This one is the perfect nude. If you're looking for the perfect nude lip liner that will go with everything, get Deep Taupe from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Then I like to go over with my finger, just so it's not very precise, which I know it feels so stupid. Like, why would you apply a lip liner if you don't want it to be precise? Basically, what I'm trying to achieve with lip liner is have shadow around my lips and I apply this on the corners. Now if, if sometimes you follow my steps and you're like, no, 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 I got it, like I'm going to skip this step because it's not me. But then at the end of your makeup you're wondering like, mm, it doesn't look like it does on her. Obviously there are different reasons, but mostly it's because all of these small tips that I give to most people, they don't take in consideration. They think like, yeah, 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 like that, that, that does not work for me. Did you try it? Because what this trick does just emphasizes your lips so much better. You will have the most beautiful, sculpted, juicy, natural looking lips. And I'm not saying necessarily to overline, but just do this trick where you apply the lip liner at the corners so it's slightly darker. Then I'm taking Rare Beauty, I don't know what this is, is this a lip gloss, is this a lip tint, but it feels like the most comfortable lip balm, and don't be, don't be fooled by the color, wait until I spread it, just wait until I spread it. You see when I spread it with the finger, the color? is not as intense. Oh my goodness, what is this? Are you seeing those lips? You guys, try this. Try the combination. This, I think it's perfect. The lip liner, oh, I'm so happy with how it turned out. It's literally everything I dreamed of. I don't practice my looks, so everything I do, obviously, it's, it's 
right here, right now. You guys, I'm done. This is literally everything that I dreamed of from this look. I wanted something that is pinky, feminine, fresh, that just screams freshness. And I know I, I was using a lot of products, but I needed a little glammed up today. I fresh like a daisy, but in reality, I'm not fresh at all because my voice is failing me. I have not slept in six months, <laughs> but especially the last week has been really, really hard. My baby wakes up about three times a night and sometimes he would just not go back to bed. He's like, I'm up, let's play. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this. It was a pleasure, as usually, to do my makeup with you. Maybe, you know what? I'm thinking, this is just an idea. I'm thinking that we should meet on Zoom. I should do like a get ready with me or something on Zoom where I can actually do my makeup live with you and you do your makeup with me in the same time. We're, we're gonna figure something out. I definitely wanna do something where I would meet you in one way or another, uh, where you would tell me your challenges with makeup live, um, but in a more intimate environment. I'll think of something and let you know. But uh, yeah, today's look is ready. This is from Cinco, I think it's called Ele Eleonor, but I'm not sure. Anyway, you will find it in the description box for sure. My dress is Weekend Max Mara. I'll put uh, maybe a picture in here. I don't think it's available because I have posted a link on my stories and you guys are like, yeah, there's a lot of you, so you sold out. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, follow me on Instagram, follow me on TikTok, because I'm a TikToker now. I have almost 60,000 people on TikTok. How crazy is that? Thanks for watching. See you in my next one. Bye.